Resolution number three, introduced by Commissioner DeWitt. Uh, Mark DeWitt. Sorry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. To the Honorable Jeff Barrett, Vice Chairman, and members of the Hawkins County Board of Commission, regular session met this 29th day of August, 2022. Resolution in reference, approval of private chapter 66, an amendment to chapter 304 of the private acts of 1982, as amended by chapter number 74, section six and seven, allowing for an increase of the juvenile judge's position from part-time to full-time. Whereas at the March 1st, 2022, County Commission approved resolution 2022-0301 out of order to request to the Tennessee State General Assembly for a revision to Private Act 2008, chapter number 74, section six and seven, changing the Hawkins County juvenile judge's position from part-time to full-time. Whereas legislature of the Tennessee General Assembly has approved the changes and the amendment private, private chapter 66 is attached. Now therefore be resolved that approval be given for the juvenile judge position to become full-time position, provided the changes to the private act are ratified by a two-thirds vote of the county legislative body. Further, that these changes become effective January 1, 2023, giving the juvenile judge ample time to close his present private law practice. Mr. Chairman, I so move. Resolution number three, being presented by Commissioner DeWitt. It has a second by Commissioner Farrell. Do we have any discussion regarding resolution number three? Okay, I see no questions, no discussion. And like I said, in the resolution, it requires a two-thirds vote for passage. Uh, no questions, we will call for the votes. I'd like to accept your votes, mm -hmm. Fourteen yes, three no, four absent. Let me just ask you, what is your reaction to the commission's vote tonight? Uh, I'll, I'll put it this way: it choked pretty hard. It was, it was a, it's a big relief, um, and it's been a long time coming. And here's a, a little interesting tidbit: eleven years ago to the date is when I was appointed. Wow, to the what a, that's a coincidence. It's, it's kind of serendipitous uh, yeah. that it comes full circle like this. Well, but, um, just. Explain to me how this is going to help you do your job and why this was needed. I think, well, it's needed because, number one, the case, and I've been saying it for a long time, that the caseload has, has reached a point where the, the time it takes to address them is getting more and more lengthy. Mm -hmm. um, I think it will help me do my job to be able to spread, instead of cramming so many cases in on a Tuesday or Thursday, I can kind of spread them out, spend a little bit more time reading reports. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not about the number of cases, it's about the time each case takes. Really. Well, a little bit of both. Yeah. It, so, some cases admittedly won't take it, don't take as long mm -hmm. as others, mm -hmm. but the, the ones that are going to take a little bit longer, they need to have that time to be able to, to review the case file, review reports, and make sure you know, I've got my eyes dotted and my T's cut. Were you surprised that it went through without any dissent, any debate? Just I, I, I was. I was. That, that was a it was a, a pleasant surprise. I guess sure. they've been talking about it for years, though. So. It's you know, I know Judge Taylor had started it before uh, before he left and, and was uh, went to the sessions, Judge. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, I've, I've been at it. Eleven years today is the anniversary, and so, and I've been at it for, for at least eight of those eleven years to try to get it at least expanded. But right, it's full time. So. Okay. Well, um, what is this, the timeline then? I know they said it in the resolution, but how long will it take for this to, to be effective? Well, it, it, it'll be effective immediately, January first, the way I understand it. Uh, I have. By the rules, I have six months to shut my practice down. Uh, they've given, you know, it's effective January 1st, so there might be a, a month or two there that I have a little bit of overlap, but hopefully with, between now and January 1st, I can really reduce my practice down to, to almost nothing. Okay. And so there's going to be four or five days a week? Or? I, it, I would say I will be up there five days a week. I would say court a minimum of four. Mm -hmm. Fridays typically... Uh, we are short-staffed because uh, 
some of the core staff does the child protective investigative team, the SIPIT meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, another course uh, member of the core staff does the uh, foster care review board meetings. Mm -hmm. So th those are done on Fridays. So more likely than not, Fridays will just be administrative days. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you want to say about this? I, no, I'm just I'm pretty pleased with the outcome. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you, Tim. I, I hope that it works out for the best.